Hey, what's up guys? I'm Rory and welcome back to my shop. Today I'm going to use these walnut scraps to make a charcuterie board and a serving tray. All right, so I'm going to start with the charcuterie board first, and I've got this cut off uh, from a piece of walnut. You can see it's got a ton of sapwood in it and quite an aggressive live edge. So I use my hand just to kind of measure out exactly how big of a handle I would need. And then once I had the pencil mark um, exactly how I wanted it, I used a Sharpie just to make the cut lines a little bit more clear. I use my old trusty Black & Decker jigsaw to uh, rough out the shape, knowing that I was going to um, do quite a bit of sanding later, but this is just to get the basic shape. And so once that was done, um, held it in my hand to make sure it was kind of the thing that I was going for. Used an old chisel and mallet to get off all of the bark and really try to clean up that live edge. I wanted to keep it as uh, much character as possible, um, but make sure that it was clean enough where it wouldn't get too much like you know food or debris or anything like that in the cracks. So. Um, cleaned it up with my sander. I was using 60 grit sandpaper here, so pretty aggressive, and cleaned it down uh, as much as I could. At the same time as cleaning up all the bark and the live edge, I went around and cleaned up all the edges as well to soften everything and make it um, comfortable to use and easy to clean. And so here you can see the random orbital sander I'm able to get in uh, to most of the nooks and crannies um, on this charcuterie board. And here I'm holding it in my hand and you can see I've got a little bit of a thick uh, handle, a little bit thicker than I wanted. And so I wanted to um, make that a little bit more comfortable to grip. So I put it in a vise and I'm gonna shave off a little uh, chunk here to kind of make a some sort of handle. So I used my coping saw to do that and got a really rough uh, gouge taken out of there and then use my drum, Dremel with a drum sander uh, bit on it and was able to clean this up. Um, really well. So once all that was cleaned up, I used my random orbital sander again, and then it was in pretty good shape. So I popped the grain here um, before giving it a final sanding and then giving it that final sanding using uh, 220 grit to get uh, a really smooth finish. And for some of those parts on the live edge, I had to do it by hand um, to get it as cleaned up as possible before putting oil on it. So this is a food safe mineral oil. I'm just going to do a really liberal amount and I love the way that that sapwood on the walnut uh, looks. I had to make it this shape because that piece down by the handle that I cut out I used on a, a previous um, cutting board. It was a really good solid piece of walnut there without much sapwood. So that's the reason that I'm kind of left over with this shape. Um, so with the charcuterie board done and set to the side I started cutting some um, stringers for this serving tray. Uh, I get a ton of snipe on my planer, um, and I did a review on this planer if you want to check it out. And um, in order to avoid that, I uh, usually like to glue these stringers on the end so then the uh, those absorb the snipe and then they don't hit um, the actual piece. So this piece of walnut I knew was really pretty and had a lot of... Uh, uh, character in it and figure and so that's why I didn't want to cut it up into strips and put it into a um, cutting board so I threw it through the planer a bunch of times you can see it um, reveals a really cool looking piece of sapwood um, on the corner that I didn't realize was there and just has a lot of character to it so I use an old floor mat to do most of my sanding on um, or under carpet mat rather so I popped the stringers off and uh, went through my grits sanding uh, here is um, 60 all the way up to 220 and so I'm using it to clean up that edge. I did not put this through the table saw to get a very clean um, edge on it. I purposely just sanded it smooth and same with the end grain. Um, it was kind of a rough, uh, rough thing, so I just softened it up there. So it has a big crack in it. I'm using this Starbond um, brown tinted CA glue, and it comes with an activator that makes it uh, hard within about 15 seconds so you can sand it and, and keep reapplying and so this is one of my favorite tools in the shop I say it all the time um, I'll put uh, links in the uh, description below to these products and so you just build up that crack and once it's built up any voids in the in the tray you can um, build up with the CA glue and then sand it all uh, smooth and it is um, really a great way to uh, to fix up boards like this that have some imperfections so Pop the grain and then slept on it. 
Okay, so this bothered me all night. This is the charcuterie board. You can see it's got a completely straight edge on the bottom. I feel like it kind of looks like a whale or something like that. And the whole rest of the board is um, pretty natural and flowing and organic. And so I needed to add a little bit of character to that bottom part there so it didn't look so weird. So I just took a, a jigsaw and probably committed some sin here by cutting into a board that had already been oiled. Um, but I, I really think it was worth it because I think it looks so much better like this, has a lot more natural and organic uh, look to it with just that slight curve there in the bottom. All right, back to the serving tray here. So same thing, went through all the grits of sandpaper, um, 60, 60, 120, 220, uh, and knocked down the edges so it wasn't sharp or anything like that, and then oiled it up and you can see it looks great and again i love that uh that little bit of sapwood there on the corner and kind of the little just hint to some live edge uh, and so after the oil soaked in i put uh, some beeswax on both um, the sh uh, charcuterie board and the serving tray um, and got those all waxed up now for the serving tray i wanted to do some handles here so I just picked these up at the big box store these are some black cabinet handles and using a piece of tape here as a template to find out exactly where the holes are supposed to go. And so position that exactly where I wanted it on the serving tray and mark those holes. And um, I'm gonna use a bit here that is slightly bigger than the screws. So I, I took the screws and knocked the head off of them, just used a hacksaw and knocked the head off. And so that way I can screw those into um, the bottom of the handle. And you can see here how it kind of creates this uh, these threaded um, uh, screws here sticking out that I can uh, put into these holes. So again, use the oversized bit. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna use quite a bit of epoxy in there. So I mixed up some of this Gorilla Glue five minute epoxy and uh, put a, a good dollop of that into each hole. And within um, you know five minutes, it's, uh, it's pretty well set. And then a couple of hours, it's um, fully cured. So. Uh, you can see a pretty pretty decent sized drop in there, and then that epoxy is gonna uh, both wrap around those threads and um, adhere to the to the actual wood. So once that cures, that is not going anywhere, and that is about it. So these uh, boards is a really um, fun project to do, uh, relatively easy, quite a bit of sanding. I probably did too much sanding footage in this video, um, but I wanted you to get an idea of uh, exactly how I did this. And so really happy with the way these look. I'll throw these up on my Etsy shop right in time for the holidays and we'll see how they sell. So this is what they look like um, actually in use. So if you do a lot of entertaining or anything like that, these are a great thing to have around the house because um, it makes, uh, makes all your food and everything you're setting out uh, look really nice. So thanks so much for watching. If you would do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button, follow me along on other projects that I do like this. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. And thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it.